a fascinating program. That was sadly the last in the current series, but Francis Pryor, the presenter, is in an edition of Byways on BBC Two next month. And next Tuesday, we have a brand new series of Ipso Facto. This week on Artifacts, we'll be giving you tips on makeup, we'll have fashion items, we'll be showing you why these trainers are so popular, and you'll also be amazed at the design that goes into such a simple object as a toothbrush. So see you on Wednesday at 4.35 on Children's BBC. And that Wednesday is, in fact, tomorrow, so don't miss it. 4.35 Artifacts, of course, here on CBBC. Stand by for Grange Hill. It's coming up next after today's news round, presented by Juliet Morris. New calls for even tougher laws on Britain's dangerous dogs. And nursing nature back to health. The world's first wildlife teaching hospital is open. Hello. There are claims tonight that the laws governing Britain's most ferocious dogs don't go far enough. Work of St Tiggy Winkles. That's all from News Round today. Hope to see you around the same time tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye. Next Tuesday sees the return of the award-winning documentary series Ipso Facto. The reporters this year look at the topics of dreams, money, peer pressure, time and death. They each take a very personal look at their chosen subject, as well as listening to your views. Dreams is the first programme. Don't miss it if you want to find out what your dreams mean. Ipso Facto, next Tuesday at 4.35 on CBBC. I had a dream last night about a mobile phone and a mouse. I'd like to have that one explained, I can tell you. Ipso facto, next Tuesday. Back to this afternoon, though, now. And a very exciting, mysterious package for Ray and an interview for Mr Hargreaves, all happening in Grange Hill. <laughs> Raymond, my dad went mad. I'm surprised I'm still here. Right.